um, those that are most vulnerable and at risk of being trafficked uh, the refugees, you know, one hour away, as only the Lord would do. When we started in Thessaloniki eight years ago, all the experts said to us, it will be impossible. And I mean, we had secular experts do the studies, feasibility studies. They said it will be impossible because of the corruption in the government, because of the poverty, because there are no laws protecting the right. This is not a crime in Greece, so you're not going to be able to prosecute anyone. And, um, it is very dark. It is obviously, it's the, the, the United Nations calls it the parking station of human trafficking because it, it leads out of the Middle East into Western Europe, right. down to Africa. Um, so in the midst of all of that, only God would have known that eight years later, 85% of all the Syrian refugees right. would be crossing yeah. the border. One hour, I mean, I'm going to be there in a few days. I'm going to get in the car, drive one hour from my office, and there, there they are. And... Um, these people were dying en masse and just had nothing. So really what, what our partnership support here has done and what your generous partners have done, it's, it's miraculous, have enabled us to put down foundations of a simple thing like gravel so that we could pitch tents for the UN <laughs> and for the Red Cross. Right. And we could then, what you have done is provided unbelievable water containers. Um, over 300,000 uh, people have just used one of these. I mean, the UN has just ordered 50 more, and um, it's quite powerful. A simple idea of converting a container, having taps so people could have the dignity of washing themselves, right. coming yeah. off the boats, yeah. having a shower. We've got ones with showers and toilets. And um, that simple, small thing. And I just keep thinking um, when Jesus says, you know, if you give them a cup of water in my name, if you give them... Right. And yeah. I feel that what will happen five years from now, these refugees, they're going to say... We were thirsty and the Christians were there and they gave us something right. to drink. We what a were great hungry opportunity. And the Christians were there and they gave yeah. us. And I'll never forget that. So that's really what it's doing.